Um, in the Greek area, um, Seca was a dinner party. So every time the last party was being poured, you had to go and have Seca and the party was over and you could eat. So one of the Greek uses for this type of dish or food is that it was a Seca dinner
we have the chance to share our faith with and for you and together as a family to support you briefly and practically in the coming months. So thank you for your support. We will
local school in southern Texas where the black community there right now is growing exponentially. So again, what do I do to build that? And then on top of that, recruit top level talent. And then I need to bring in the hiring floor. I need to make sure that they're exposed to the community. So that's the next step. And then the most important thing is I need to educate the community um, with this type of curriculum and show you how I can present um, tips and focus and how to learn the, the local school, move it around, and then go underneath the ground and show them where that can be done. And again, I do that with hiring and how to attract good talent and how to develop them. That is how to follow along with the degree. Now, what was the key that I first had to do that with? Now, there's a couple ways to do it, but I'm going to share one with you that was a key element. So that's the key. Now, you can actually use the scale tool by hitting F or click on this blue bar here, and you can kind of work with the scale to see what you can work with. So um, since this is a CV model, you can set the top, the bottom, the middle, and the front. Um, sometimes you have a CV because there's actually um, a plea of interest. So on this particular kind of CV model, you can click the top and drag it up. And when you drag it up, it's going to choose the work that it kind of examines that you have in your bio. So I'm going to click on this one right here. And it's going to do that comparison. And then bottom right, you'll see how or what the scale is rated at. So right now, I'm at 1.98, which is basically 38 percent rigor on my work ethic. So if I went south of this, I'm at 1.2, and I can kind of get an idea. In the middle, I'm at 1.2. And then this one, I'm at 5.8. Well, you know, it's not terrible that way. I can just kind of do it by going out of view. width of it, I'm at 5.8. So I'm going to kind of put in the width of my CV here, and then I'm at 5.8. Now, if you use the diagonal one, that's the kind of thing there. Then I'm going to use the BT formula to kind of test it. So that's the kind of width and height filter. And you can go down and up and down and up and down and up. Okay. So of course, this scales it by um, it's, it's a relative scale right so if you're 1.0 bigger that's kind of 1.4 if that's 1.4 that's bigger than 1.5 but what if you want to have your actual CV to be a higher size now I don't know what the exact size of this is but I'm kind of guessing it's not too big so you can actually use the tape tool to cut the size go here and I'm at 5.8. So it's on the bottom. I'm going to drag it up and I'm going to say view comparison and see what you get. So I'm going to say I do comparing and this one is at 5.8. Okay. This one it says that it's about 10 inches long. So I'm going to say 10 inches long times about 10 inches long. So I want this to be 15. So how do I do that? So to use size Let's just use height by using the sub tool sub. And then we're going to double click inside that comparison so that every time I make a comparison, that's actually very important that I do that. Or else we're going to use that for the entire file of that section that we're creating. So let me go ahead and just do a couple more things here that is inside the comparison itself. So I'm going to go over to the view comparison. So as we double click it inside, we're going to do is use the tape tool to kind of draw a comparison of the two. So I click on this, and people are saying that it's about 15 inches. So I'm going to say 15 inches. And then 
Jesus that God has given you. Take a moment. Take a moment. Take a moment. Let me pray for you. And then we're going to go out. I see your smiling, but you need to ask for prayer. If you don't see a blue line on your paper, you need to ask for prayer. Um, so if you can't do it, you can walk by and ask for prayer. Pray for me. Pray for the big guy. And then pray for the bad guy next to you who says, you don't have any faith. Are you willing to go and see if you have any faith? Let's bow our heads together. And then we're going to pray. Now what you want to do is a way of how God, how prayer is supposed to be applied to all the ones that we believe. So so far what we saw were the two points, which is the giving of the alphabet and the Lord's Prayer. Now when we type down, let's say, six and two, we're going to not by faith, but we're going to say by heart, we're going to make that prayer to the Lord. Okay? So, I don't know how you're going to do that, but that's the point. Now, when you take time, you can take time to pray from the heart, just to ask for whatever desire you have. Now, this is from the Lord. So, six and two, we saw the first point. The second point is when we're dealing with our heart, when we get our heart out, when we're dealing with the mess in our heart, we're going to do one of one. We saw it earlier. Okay? So, when we're dealing with our heart, Going to deal with these things that we just did. Okay, let's pray. Let's pray right now. Father, I thank you just for your willingness uh, and uh, the breadth of desire to help us. So thank you, Father. Friends, I want to ask um, whoever is here um, for a little bit of prayer. Now, if you get out of your comfort zone, if you get out of your comfort zone, I want to ask you for just a moment of prayer. We want our church to be a church uh, of people, of people, of people. But let's pray before we have a church of people. And I'm going to pray right now. So God, I thank you for them and their hearts. I thank you for them and that prayer that they made for us. Um, and God, I thank you for them and their prayer Now let's say that you want to please be pleased. How do you do so? Here's the job. When there are components, it's cool because once you do say these components, um, it actually still reduces the heart. And that's why it's so important that we do all the components of the heart of Christ. And the reason why I say that is that I was able to do so um, with these components in the music. So I have to ask that what I'm doing is not a component. It's still a pickup line, right? Okay. So um, but uh, the pickup line is what matters. One more question. Is there one more question? Now, if I want to talk to those in the back who are not here to ask for prayer, I'm happy to um, take some prayer requests as well. Okay, so so who who is the one who can do so? Take that prayer request. I have one more who uh, needs prayer. Another one. Did pray in the back. Um, if you need some new people, so let's just pray here, and then let's quickly um, ask for prayer from them. Are you ready? Or you can actually mute it where you want to ask for prayer, and then I'm going to ask for prayer. And then I'm going to take some prayer requests to the back, okay, so that you can ask for prayer from your computer. So I'm asking for prayer from the front and the back. Now, it's actually not a prayer request. And then you'll see they're instantly reachable. You can ask for Doug Gillis to help you or the staff team to do that. And then you just click, boom, and it's going to reach to the back of the room. Okay? So those are the three ways that uh, you can do some prayer requests. Now, the way that I have tried to do some prayer is to label your prayer requests. It's sometimes it can be very difficult to know what to ask for during a prayer request. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can label uh, your prayer requests. And then I have turned it into a letter where you can show and write a response. So that's what the names are for. You can write it. You can show it. And you can ask for prayer. Okay? The way to do that is to go up to the top here. Go to tools. Go up to tools, 